We have picked our map, we have picked a tactical rifles loadout, and we are ready to jump straight into multiplayer for a classic multiplayer hopping hunt, but with tactical weapons. Let's get straight into it. Now the goal for today's video is to just hunt around with these uh, tactical looking weapons and do our best to find some trophies here in multiplayer. I tried to pick a loadout that really gave off that tactical feel like the 6.5, the 338. We've also got ourselves the 22 AR as well as the uh, new 22 250 and also the uh, good old Glock. We're going to have a lot of fun today and I got a feeling that this is going to be a very incredible hunt. Well, uh, this is not a great start. We got into a full lobby, as you can see, and everything around me is nervous, so I got a feeling that we're not going to get too much here. However, there is a lake over here that is unsearched for the most part. It's just got one wildebeest zone, so maybe there will be some good lions here if we're lucky. Yeah, literally everything that I'm coming across is nervous, so yeah, it doesn't exactly bode well for the rest of our day here on Verhonga. And as I expected, we got ourselves some lions here. This is just a level six, but I think I want to use the 338 on it just to get an idea of what this gun is going to do to them. Because I haven't really used the 338 on lions before, so maybe it's uh, some hidden gem in taking them down. 300's always been great, so I couldn't imagine this not being good. And, you know, it might help if we actually were hitting our shots in the vitals. That looked a lot better. That looked a lot better. Down he goes. Oh gosh, of course they changed the time before I even get a chance to come over and claim this lion, which means it's very likely that all lions are now gone. Well, that's just great. I guess we're going to hunt around for whatever drinks at 630. Let's grab our lion and see where we ended up hitting him. The first shot was, yeah, not great. Definitely not a good hit on the first one, but we saved it on the second one, and man, that is actually some really good penetration. You know, lions might just be weak enough to where 338 can kill them pretty, pretty quickly compared to the 300. Oh gosh, well, we've got ourselves some company. Go ahead and try to get a shot into him. I don't know how we're going to do here. Well, that's going to be a vital hit right there. In fact, I think that might have been our first hit. The first one missed, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These buffalo will definitely keep you interested on Verhonga. No matter what you're doing, they're going to go for you. You know, a lot of people say the, the lion is the king of the jungle, right? But I, I really feel like the Cape Buffalo is the king of the savannah here in Call of the Wild. They just never leave you alone. They always try to assert their dominance by running right at you and attacking. And it just, it never ceases to amaze me how crazy aggressive they are compared to the lions in this game. The lions, they just run from you unless you happen to sneak up close and they notice you're there. You know, just one time. I had to. <laughs> I just, I had to. It's too tempting not to do it at least one time when I've got the Glock with me. Every time I go out with this Glock, I have to do that at least once. It's just, it, it's tradition at this point. Oh my gosh, we got a bunny charging us those first five shots didn't happen we're just gonna sweep this little guy up like nothing happened and move along to something else as we get attacked by yet another cape buffalo what is up with these guys right here they just feel like they own the place there has been very little trophies popping up today, so we're going to go ahead and just shoot a average level 3 Gemsbok with a 6.5 just to get a little bit of use out of it in case we find nothing else during this video. Let's go ahead and drop one right into him, and he's going down. Wait a second. Was that a hard shot? I don't remember the 6.5 dropping a Gemsbok that quickly. That had to be a hard shot. Well, let's see what we ended up getting, and okay, so it wasn't heart, it was thoracic spine, thoracic vertebrae, left lung, and right lung. Oh my gosh, this poor thing just got decimated. That, that is crazy. And it doesn't even look like it hit it, but apparently it did. We've just uh, popped up over top of this hill, and we look down, and there is a warthog right there. I'd say that is a perfect candidate for the 22 250. 
we're gonna see if this can do well on it from this distance. I don't know if it will, and this animal's a little big for it, but... That looked to be a good hit, and hopefully it's gonna go down very shortly. It looks like... No. Well... Ain't that just unfortunate. You know what? It's fine. I'd rather take down this big level 4 Springbok anyway. And I mean, it's running away, but we'll still try to get it down if it gives us a shot. Definitely could right here, but I think we will have to stock up on it a bit. Here we go. We got him to stop. The question is... I th think that might have been a good shot, but I don't really know... It's down regardless. We hit something. I don't think it was vitals, but we hit something that was good enough to get him down. And our uh, dog is bugged out. It shows him on the map, but all we hear is the pitter pattering and we can occasionally see him zooming around us. Uh, yep, multiplayer, still multiplayer. It is a vital organ hit, so that is a really good sign. That means we at least got a good shot into it. And that is a 68 scoring gold, about 10 points below diamond. I still just can't get over how tiny these Springbok are now. Ever since they added True Racks to them, they just don't even... They don't even interest me anymore. It's just sad. It's just sad, man. Gosh, I'm just trying to check these Cape Buffalo over here, and I got other ones chasing me. I, I can't get away from them. You know, this was supposed to be just... Hunting around on Verhonga, using tactical looking weapons, and instead it's been defending myself with tactical weapons against Cape Buffalo because they keep attacking me and I can't get them to go away. <laughs> that's, but that's too long of a title, so it's not going to be the title. Oh my gosh. These capes are just so much trouble today. Finally! <laughs> oh my gosh, that is what you get if you're gonna attack me. <laughs> Again, the very next herd just... I cannot catch a break. I really can't catch a break. Well, at least this is a little bit better of a buffalo to attack me. Still not ideal when I'm not really... <laughs> Not really looking for just getting attacked every single second of the hunt, but you know, it is what it is. This is what we got to do to get the trophies, and I felt like chasing after some buffalo after getting attacked by them a few times. I, I didn't think it was going to continue, though. I thought we were going to just search for some trophies and maybe find a rare or a diamond and, you know, be on our way to the, to the next animal, but of course, they, they don't make it that easy. They have to attack me multiple times and give me nothing for it. Well, uh, that is a massive blue wildebeest. Oh my gosh, I wish I had not spooked that thing off. That is actually huge. Uh, that could potentially be a diamond. In fact, I think it might even be guaranteed. I don't remember what diamond score is. I think it's like 37 or 38 or something like that, so it's got a good chance of making it. There it is right there. Oh my gosh, it is really, really close. Let's get this thing alert. You're ready to take the shot. We have to use the 6.5 on this. It's the only gun that we have that is going to get full score aside from the 22, 250 and the Glock, but I'd much rather use this. In fact, actually, the 22, 250 cannot get full score now that I think of it. For some reason, I thought these were class four, but they're not. They're class six, so yeah, we got to go with this or the Glock, and no way I'm using the Glock. Let's try to get this guy's attention and... See if we can get a shot into him. And that is a hard shot. Oh my gosh, we just took him down with a hard shot. That is the last thing that I expected in that type of situation. I was so scared to take that frontal shot, but the more I thought about it, I felt like it was something I needed to do. There we go. That is our beautiful wildebeest. Let's hope that this guy ends up making it. It is very likely that... Level 4s with the max weight estimate can make it, so we're hoping that this will be one of them. Oh my gosh, it is! We did it! A level 4 diamond blue wildebeest. I cannot think of the last time that I had a level 4 make it. I see so many people get these, and I've just never had good luck with getting level 4s to make it. But today was the day that we finally accomplished that. That is 
incredible. We're definitely not going home empty-handed today, as we have got ourselves a beautiful diamond wildebeest with a perfect heart shot that literally went all the way to the stomach. That is crazy. What an insane encounter. And this is why it's beneficial to search for servers that have very minimal zones discovered. If you look around, there is basically nothing on this server, and because of that, not a lot of the areas have been searched, and we were able to find ourselves a beautiful, beautiful Blue Wildebeest trophy. I also really just gotta point out how amazing this particular skin is on the 6.5. I just took the uh, Lightning, I believe. I, th I think it's the Lightning variation of the 6.5, and I added that kind of like, uh, I guess, copper-looking uh, brushed barrel. It, it looks so good. It, it's so beautiful. If I remember, I'll put a screenshot of the exact combination of skins that I use because it, it's pretty nice. I like this one a lot. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did it! I finally hit a flying dock! That is a one in a million thing for me. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Well, I think this is going to be the last thing that we shoot today because there's no way I hit another shot quite like that. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing as it does help out a ton and it lets me know that you guys actually enjoy the content. Also, leave a like and a comment because those help just as much. And this was honestly a pretty good day. We got a diamond taking on Africa with the tactical rifles and I think overall it went very, very well. So with that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.